Now it's time to check out some applications on the series. We'll build some applications on the PC and then we'll transfer these applications to the series platform. Firstly, we will be required to connect the series platform to the PC via ActiveSync. Before that, you need to install ActiveSync on your PC. Once done, it's time to connect the series board. Let us do that. You can see that the series is connected to the laptop via USB cable. The host port of the PC is connected to the USB device port of the series. The series uses a type A connector for the USB device. The USB device port that is part of the series is actually from the PXA270 directly. The PC status shows that there has been a partnership request and right now we don't want to signal files but we do want to just have an option of exploring the files remotely. You can see the files inside the series platform from the PC here by using the explore option. Now let's open an application in the PC and debug it. The LCD test.sln is an application which is a test application that will keep changing the background colors. We will be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2005 for development. The code is written in C language. We have chosen a simple application here to just demonstrate the series supports all the debugging options that are available on top of Windows CE. We will build these applications, add some breakpoints, generate voluntary exception etc. Now let's launch this application. The application is launched. Let's rebuild it. You can see that it has rebuilt without any errors. Now let's launch this application. Here is the application on the series. You can see the application just switches the background colors. So it switches to red. Then when you choose green it switches to green. Now let's add some breakpoints in the code. We'll add breakpoints when the color is changed to green or red. And we can run this application again. So you can see that when color was switched to green, it got hang. And on the PC, you can see yes, the code has stopped there actually. So we say continue to skip the breakpoint and you should be able to see the green color on this areas. Yes. We did another breakpoint on red and hence it hangs. Again we go to the series and then I'm sorry and we go to the PC and then we remove the breakpoint and then we can again continue the Other than breakpoints, there are other options like actually detecting exceptions. We here try the show all option. This causes an exception. Let's see why the exception has occurred. Yeah, the Visual Studio 2005 has thrown up an exception. We'll break the execution to see where the exception has occurred. Yes, this is a while pointer assignment and hence the exception has been thrown. You can choose to skip this exception and pass this uh, exception to the application and then continue. This ends our application development on Sirius and in the next video we will see the connection of the various external modules to Sirius. This will be GPRS, GPS, fingerprint, barcode reader etc.